Good morning, everybody. Great to see you again. Uh, I'm by myself this morning. I've, uh, I've locked Elsie in with Grandma, so she should be nice and quiet. Anyway, I've got a story for you this morning. And uh, now, not that long ago, there lived an old miser who had a big but dilapidated house that looked like it had never been painted or looked after since it was built many years earlier. The front door was nearly off its hinges. Most of the windows were broken and sellotaped up. You could see light through the roof in several places. And the house had a garden. And that was the same. It was all overgrown with one clear path leading up to the front door. And the occasional ball patch where he grew a bit of veg or the odd fruit bush. The old miser had worked all his life and had actually become really wealthy over time. However, he simply had all his wealth in gold coins, which he could hide under stones in his garden. Every night before he went to bed, the miser would creep out into the garden under the cover of darkness, visit each of his hiding places in turn and count all his coins just to reassure himself, he still had them all. He continued the same routine day after day without fail, counting his coins every night. Really, it was a pointless exercise because he always counted exactly the same amount. You see, he never spent a single cold coin. He just lived off the few vegetables and fruit that survived in the mess that was his garden. He did the same thing day after day, month after month, year after year, until one night, a thief just happened to be passing as the old miser went out to count his hidden coins. And that thief just happened to see him lifting the rocks and checking his gold. Well, the thief hid behind the fence and waited until the old miser went back into the house. He then went and snuck around the garden, lifting each rock in turn and took all the gold. The following morning, as the old man came out, he noticed that the rocks had been moved. Quickly, he ran around, only to find that all his gold was gone. He couldn't help himself. He fell to his knees and started wailing loudly. His neighbour heard the cries and came running out, over asking, What's happened? What's happened? When the miser told him, the neighbour asked, why didn't you just save the money inside your house where it would have been safe? The neighbour continued, having it inside the house would have made it easier for you to get to if you needed to buy something. Buy something? answered the miser. I was never going to spend any of my gold. When the neighbour heard this, he picked up a stone and threw it saying, if that's the case, then you might as well have been saving the stones. If you were never going to spend any of your gold, then that rock was worth as much as the gold you've lost. Now, in the Bible, there is a story about a rich fool who built bigger and bigger barns to store all his grain in, only to lose his life just as he got enough food to last for many years. So in the end, he wouldn't know any benefit from what he'd done. He had made getting more and more the main aim of his life. He had become self-centred. He only thought about himself and what he was going to get. Whereas the Bible encourages us to think about others and support others if we can. When we do that, Christians believe that we store up treasure in heaven, not just for now, but for the rest of eternity.
Okay, let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for all these smiling faces. I thank you that they do have that whole life in front of them. I thank you that they are so full of potential for things they can achieve in the future. And I just pray, Father, right now that you, you will give us all that, that heart of generosity, that we won't be people who just think of ourselves and what we're going to get out of things, that we will be able to support people around us and help where we can, Father. Don't let us be people who who store up, up things for now. Let us be, like, like it says in the Bible, storing up treasure for in heaven, for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen.